Welcome back to the channel. So right off the bat, my initial impressions of GoldenEye and the Switch were confusion. I had GoldenEye on the 64 and assumed that the controls would have been updated to play with a dual analog control stick style on Switch Online, and it's not. So much so that I was playing around in the first level for way too long around the very first enemy trying to figure out how to move Bond around. Fortunately, there is a workaround to this, and there's plenty of videos out there on how to change the controls, which is exactly what I did. Which, if you're unaware, is to change the control style to 1.2 Solitaire via Bond's Watch, then go into your system settings and remap the left control stick to the right, remap the right to the left, and also swap ZL and ZR. It's a minor headache, but worth it to play in a more intuitive style. It's also a nice touch that you can change the screen ratio to 16:9 and get rid of the Switch Online sidebars to immerse yourself a little bit more in the experience. Once you get past the controls and setup, GoldenEye plays well. I haven't noticed any frame rate dips, and it's here in all its blocky Nintendo 64 glory. Auto aim works great, Bond moves smoothly, again after the control modification, and I very much enjoyed this nostalgic trip playing so far just on the easier agent level with less objectives. Much of the graphics by today's standards are honestly pretty laughable, from the blocky character models on Bond, Natalia, or Boris, or the 2D trees in the surface levels. But the actual gameplay again after control setup is as fun to me as it was back then. From the satisfying crunching of bodies as you drive over enemies with the tank in the streets level, to the mayhem you cause with the RCP-90 in the train level, to sneaking around in the bathroom and labs in the ever so popular facility level. So while GoldenEye on Switch out the door is not perfect by any means, after some quick control tweaking which honestly isn't that bad of a process, especially if you can leave one controller just set up for GoldenEye and save your button mapping, it's otherwise a faithful port with a decent frame rate, a great nostalgia trip if you had it back in the N64 days, and honestly, especially for an N64 game, I think the explosions still look decent. Thanks for watching, don't forget to click subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you in the next video.